Welcome back. Joining me now on stage is Christian Demel from Boeing. You are a you develop small satellites. That's right. That's no moon. No, it's uh, it's an awesome job. Satellites are about the size of a loaf of bread, all the way up to the ones the size of about a refrigerator. Uh, so it's a pretty awesome job, and I get to see my stuff launched into space. That's amazing. Now your official title is Business Development Lead of Remote <laughs> Sensing and Small Satellite Product <laughs> at the Phantom Works? Yeah, yeah. What does that mean and what's going on in the Phantom Works? Well, I, I can't tell you, I'd have to kill you, but uh, basically it's, it's really cool stuff. You know, we want to get cool stuff into space. We want to use space to help people here on Earth, you know, help save our environment using what we see in space, help do all kinds of awesome stuff with satellites and rockets and launch vehicles. One of my favorite things uh, about the engineering fields is how much sci-fi and engineering really kind of feed each other, right? Like even oh, back yeah. in the 60s and 70s, like NASA would hire yeah. writers and artists to be like, well, we're in space. What does that look like? Yeah, exactly. And a lot of stuff that we use came from sci-fi originally. Is yeah. there anything that you guys have developed that has been influenced directly by Star Wars? Influenced by Star Wars. Well, I know there's a lot of work going on with big uh, lasers right now. Yeah. So cool lasers to detect things and also uh, little nanosatellites. Destroy planets in a single yeah. shot. No, yeah. no, well, not, not yet. That's phantom. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, that's phantom maybe, stuff. Maybe an asteroid to protect the planet. Oh, nice. Maybe destroy some asteroids. Yeah, that's like, how like the, the Empire game. spun it, too. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So there's a little nanosat on the space station that kind of looks like Luke's trainer in the first movie that kind of hovers around, right. floats around the space station in zero-g. So they actually have that in there? Yeah. And it's yeah. firing lasers and they bat at them? <laughs> no, no, no. What just, do they use it for? It just they floats around and I think there's like three of them and they mm -hmm. all kind of do like a zero-gravity dance with each other and uh, it's really awesome. And so it's yeah. just basically just to have fun up in the space station? Yeah, no, <laughs> That's amazing. No, but, uh, they kids, have like some sensors. Kids can program them I and mean, I think college students originally developed them and you can go in and like learn how they work and even write your own programs from I think. So. so amazing. Check it out on NASA. <laughs> Is there anything from Star Wars that we are going to get in our lifetime? without oh. getting me killed for knowing what's going on in the Phantom no, Works. So the, the really cool thing is that there's a whole industry of space tourism starting. Uh -huh. So people can pay to go to space. So it used to just be astronauts, people that work for the governments and are scientists. But uh, we're going to start seeing space vacations and stuff soon, so everyone can do space travel. So I think that's, that's the coolest crazy. thing. crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Um, BB-8. Yes. How does it work? I know you didn't make BB-8. I yeah. know Boeing didn't like create BB-8, but you're yeah. looking at it and you're thinking about it. Well, it's. I think it's pretty obvious. It uses gyroscopic stabilization and some magnetics to keep the head level while the body's rolling. So it's obvious. I think we might see a BB-8 sometime <laughs> here in the next 10 years. That's I think prediction. the droid builders over there want to get a BB-8 yeah. done in the next couple days. Yeah. They're all looking at their R2 units like, uh. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, Christian, thank you so no. much for joining us. We really appreciate it, hey, man. My pleasure. Thanks, guys. Keep it right here for more Star Wars Celebration Live 2015, powered by Verizon on StarWars.com.